Hey everybody, I took a day off from school today just to make this video and some other stuff. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to go to blocked websites in your school or get into using a proxy. Now if you know what proxies are, if you don't know what proxies are, I'll tell you right now. But if you try to use proxies in school in the past, you might have been unsuccessful because all schools have blocked the proxies. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own website proxy. Now, what if you don't know what a proxy is? I'm going to tell you what a proxy is right now. A proxy is basically a programmed HTTP or website, sort of, that allows you to bypass any firewall. So you can get into any website you want. Now, you should do this at home before doing this at school because... I don't think you're going to be able to download anything at school, so let's do this at home first. So what you want to do is go to the first link in the description, which to a sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash proxy. So you just click right here where it says download now. It's for PHP or PHP proxy. So you just wait for it to download, save file, click OK. It's done, clear list. Uh, close that got the proxy right there uh whatever you do do not oops, do not mess with this do not extract it at all because uh, you need it in the zip file so next you need a free web hosting and there's only one or it could be a couple but this one I really recommend doing uh, you cannot use dk.tk because your school will block it now I recommend going to triple zero web host because it allows the free PHP hosting so go right here where it says sign up click on the sign up now this is if you want uh, to host your own domain just use a subdomain I'm gonna name it so it's gonna be site50.net my name will be John Q Smith for an example. Your email MW2Freak. I don't even know who's working with this. Thing. I don't even think this is a valid email address, but I don't know. So I'm going to put in a random password. So, okay. Then uh, just put in the verification, basic things you have to do. 93238 9, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, And I agree to the terms of service. Now just create the account. Now it'll automatically refresh in 7 seconds. Uh, so yeah. It shows all this stuff. Now up here where it says manage other domain should be on your domain that you just created click on right here where it says go so I'm gonna click on go that should make you go to the main menu so just go down until you find a tab called files I found it right here now look for a little link that's called file manager so it's right here file manager click on it it's gonna open another tab if not window uh, now you need to enter your password that you just entered. So I'm gonna exit that out. Now right here is gonna say public h underscore html. It's gonna be a folder. Click on the folder. Now once you do that, it should say default dot php. Just leave it alone. Go up here to this tab that's called upload. And once you do that, go over here where it says uh, archives and click browse. Now what you want to do is look for your PHP. So right here is my proxy. So double click on the zip file. It's not much you need to do, but it's so worth it. And click on the green arrow. Once you click on the green arrow, you're done. You're just all good. So just to test this out, I'm going to go to my website that I just created right now. Site 
D.net, I think it is. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it in. Make sure you like write it down somewhere. Just memorize it. Now it's gonna say right here, websites. Now just leave all this stuff alone. Now just uh, go to whatever you, website you want. You can go from anywhere to MySpace, Facebook, any website. Uh, make sure you put www dot first. So I'm gonna go to MySpace just to show you guys. There you go. You got MySpace right in your face. Now if you wanna go to another website, where's this address? Just change it. Go to YouTube. There you go. You got YouTube right here. Uh, you can go to basically any website in school. Just make sure you memorize the name of your website. So just memorize this. Yours might be different from mine. The the, the original one that I made was .com z .com. This one's site50.net. But it doesn't really matter because it still works. It's undetectable. Your teachers or administrators cannot catch you. What they're all gonna see is if you ever try to do this and they're monitoring you guys. Uh, all they're gonna see is you went to an, a random domain, a random website, but it's not gonna show if you went to Facebook or MySpace or any of that stuff. That's the great part about it. I've never seen anyone get caught. I haven't gotten caught. And I guess all your friends are gonna think you're a really big computer hacker, supposedly. But just make sure you're not. Um, so yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And yes, I have Camtasia Studio 7 now. Peace.